Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome. This is one of my first few posts that I'm going to do for this channel. Um, so let's just begin. My name is E-Man. Welcome to Gore Fishing, Gills on Reels. And today I want to do a, a special thing. I actually was holding on to this right here, if you guys can see it, for a couple of days. And I really didn't want to open it, but I wanted to do a full opening video for you guys. Um, so today, just to get you guys up to speed of where I'm at, um, I've been pier fishing, jetty fishing, and I just started getting into surf fishing. So I had to get a rod that will actually help me cast out further, sensitive enough to catch the surf fish, and, um, but yet durable enough where I can reel in something that is worth reeling in if, if it calls for it. So. Um, I'm mainly in Southern California where the Redondo Beach, Huntington Beach is at, everything in between. So that's pretty much where I fish at. And um, I needed a rod that can accommodate it. So I went on multiple fishing platforms trying to do my research and I even asked a lot of fellow anglers uh, and fishermen on uh, social media sites their opinion and why is their opinion mostly valid for what I'm looking for. And I got a lot of guys that were giving me some helpful tips as far as in looking for a rod. Um, and I'm trying to find a multi-purpose rod. So that's just where I went with it. Uh, the top rods that I was given the choice from were uh, Shimano and um, a couple of pin reels and the St. Croix reel. So I didn't really know which one I had to get but everybody had like five stars on it. So I did my research and I was on a budget, but not really on a budget because this is an investment for me. And um, and pretty much I bought the wheel. So it took me a, a quite a few time, uh, quite a while to uh, get it, but let's see, I've never seen it open. So I'm gonna open up for you guys right now. It's my first time seeing it. Um, and what I got was, I got a nine foot, I'm gonna tell you, share what this is. A nine foot St. Croix rod, and this rod is going to be the Triumph rod. We got a lot of bubble wrap in here. Look like we didn't really try that hard for the sides. And I bought it from St. Croix.com. It's a pretty long rod. Ooh, okay. So it just give us bubble wrap. I would have thought they would have given us you know, something. Something, but this is what it looks like. Um, I got something deep down in there. Let's see if it can slide out. Hold that for me, Gizmosis. Yep, something in there. Something. Somewhere in there. There you go. Awesome. So they sent me a letter. Is that it? Turn it around. Yep, that's it. Got a big box and that's it. So I got a letter. Let's open up the letter real quick. It's probably a thank you letter for spending my hard-earned cash or something like that. If not, you know, I don't want them asking for more money. He's like my, uh... Okay, I got some cool stickers right here. That's what I got. Um, so that's just how I might put that on a tackle box or something. Depending on uh, how cool this rod works for me. Gave me a nice little uh, handcrafted best rods on the earth brochure type of thing. When to call on, peak seasons and all that. Uh, you know, how to reserve something, like a, I guess a rod or something. I'll look at that later, see what it's really about. And then a thank you letter, booyah, thank you letter. And on the back it says, visit our factory store. I guess I can go to the factory store and give me the seasons and all that. So that's pretty much what the, what this was talking about. So that's just what that is, a thank you letter and that. Well, thank you guys. Hopefully you guys have a phenomenal product. Um, now, the reason why I chose this one and there was a difference between choosing the Triumph for what I got right here. I'm going to put it together uh, for you guys. I want to see how it looks. This is nine foot. So I don't know how. Oh, I got no space. Nine foot rod. 
And I've got a medium. Let me make sure I got the right one. See, this thing is like long. Longer than my other rods. But, um, being all out the same side. But the reason why I've got this one, because I've been doing a lot of, like I said, looking online, and whoa, this is really long. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's like a couple of feet. So I got a uh, St. Croix 9 medium power action, fast, uh, sorry, fast action. And it's made out of graphite and it's a two, uh, eight to 20 pounds, a half pound to two and a half ounce uh, lead weight for any type of sinkers or jig heads or anything like that. So it can actually hold some weight to it. So um, depending on what kind of line I'm using um, and just a day just determines how, how well it can cast from my perspective, you know. Um, and just adding everything, make sure that everything's all added up nice and neat. So, oh yeah, this is a nice rod. Should have went to the store before I bought it, but I took a chance on it. And I actually like how it feels too. Like the handle is like very, has enough grip. I don't even know if it's like cork style grip. Feels like cork, but it's like, it looks like something else. But I like how it feels though. I'm gonna do a little test right here. See how it bends. Hope I don't break it. Okay. So this is just pretty much what I got. I like the feel of it. Something new for me. I mean, it's a longer pole. Most definitely, it's a longer pole. And look how big this thing is. Like I'm gonna like have it go across the screen real quick. Like the handle is nice. Coming across. Coming across. It's still going, guys. This is the first one right here. It's gonna keep going. It's gonna keep going. And boom, right here. That's where it's at, guys. It's a pretty long rod. And I wouldn't have it any other way. So I'm excited. Very excited. Um, and like I said, out here in Southern California, we don't really catch. Take that apart and set it. Um, I mainly target halibut, but there's a lot of uh, sea bass out there, a lot of spotties out there especially when going from surf to jetty, a very light rod. And, you know, I'm not really targeting sharks with this thing. Anything from surf perch, corbina, that's pretty much what I'll be catching with this. So it's not really overkill because I could put a lighter line on it. But um, yeah, so that's just, that's my reel. So now it's, I mean, that's my, uh, my rod. So now I'm gonna open up my reel, order my reel from uh, Dick's and I got, uh, apparently the camera cut off. So I already opened it, but I just got a new rod. I mean, sorry, not a new rod, just got a new reel. Um, once again, I took the same precaution as far as I'm asking a lot of reviews, checking out reviews, checking out per personal experiences when it comes to choosing the right rod. Um, unfortunately, I never, f I mean, a reel. And um, I came across a couple of people saying Shimano, 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 Shimano. Um, I had Daiwa's in the past and whatever combo rods I had, once again, I'm just getting into the fishing game and um, it's really fun. So once again, the type of people that was telling me do a lot of surf fishing. So I just took the rec recommendation and went from there. Um, and the overall choice that I chose was a Daiwa brand right here, Daiwa. And I chose the Daiwa BG35. Comes in with this red box right here with a couple other things, uh, return policies and stuff like that. So guys, for the reel that I got, uh, once again for the BG, Daiwa BG 3500. Um, the gear ratio is 5.71. Uh, the overall weight of this is 14.1 uh, ounces. And the max drag is 17.6 pounds, which is pretty phenomenal for what I'm trying to get done in the surf and on the jetties. Uh, if you know anything about Southern California jetties, we don't really have a lot of large fish coming through um, through our jetties. Some, some you might catch, you know, something like around 15 pound, uh, but nothing really that huge. So 
I think 17 pound is, is extremely good. Even if I hook up on something big, they can uh, wear the fish out a lot easier rather than getting a very small reel that, you know, be pushing it to its limits. So um, that's one thing that I'm, I'm actually happy with as far as in a, a, a light reel that does heavy duty work. And it's similar to the Shimano, but this one was a little bit more promising. It's sticking to the, uh, to the line poundage line, uh, line poundage range. So, um, and this was also good for the buck. So uh, you pretty much pay for what you get for when it comes to products like these. And, um, and this is a six ball roller one, I guess, if that's how you say it. I'll give you guys the specs. I'm actually gonna show you guys the specs. Um, but the reel's actually braid ready, spool design. It has uh, grooves already in here. So that's even a plus right there. And it's a solid screw handle. And the monofilament uh, is a 10 to 14 pounds between 220 or 240 yards to 170 yards. And then the braid is two, is 20 pounds to 40 pounds with 310 yards to 150 yards. So this thing can actually hold a lot of line. Um, I'm not gonna really catch anything to uh, to use all that line, but at the same time, you know, it's good to have, you know? Um, it's really good to have. So I'm not gonna complain about that whatsoever. And uh, hopefully, you know, this, this reel does me justice and uh, I get to have this one for a couple of years before I have to get a new one. I actually got it a lot sooner than later. Um, this is what the rod looks like. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like a bluish, like a like a black steel, blue steel hue to it with a nice orangey gold. Very smooth, very sleek looking uh, spinning reel. And it has the anti-reverse or the anti-reverse uh, uh, lock on there. Works pretty well. And it actually moves extremely smoothly. I mean, it should as a new rod, but it moves real smooth. I actually like how it looks and it would be a great setup to uh, combo with my St. Croix. So uh, I'm very excited. I'm gonna match it up with a green uh, braid, 20 pounds, and then I'm going to throw a 12 pound uh, mono leader onto it just to see how it really works in the surf. And um, I'm excited to use this. So, Go ahead and uh, if you like it, oh man, there's a lot of detailing into the reel too. I, I really like that. But um, at the end of the day, um, you guys will be seeing me do a lot of videos with this setup since I'm mainly in the surf and jetties over in SoCal. And um, I'm gonna let you guys know what I what I think about this. I mean, uh, hopefully this is a good investment at the end of the day, um, especially choosing from a BG. 3500 Daiwa from a Shimano. Um, I was stuck in between two, and with the same Croix, I had a Shimano Krius and a St. Croix Mojo rod. So uh, it was out of those three rods, and I chose this one once again. So, you know, hopefully my nine footer does the work, sensitive enough to catch the, the small lips, and um, but yet powerful enough just in case if I hook something worthy. Um, it doesn't break the rod and, and I can actually have a little fun with it. So um, Until then guys man, deeply appreciate you once again clicking on this button and hopefully this video helps you out. Hopefully, you know, you guys Be inspired to take a chance and you know, part order online like how I did because uh, I never really felt none of this until now All right guys till next time peace